Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 9th, 2023. Now, let's take a nice brain break. You breathe in through your nose. And then you hold that breath. When he goes down, you breathe out gently through your mouth. And hold again. Great. This time, let's do it together. Breathe in. And hold. And then breathe out. And hold again. Wow, what a great way to start this amazing day. Now let's see what happened with Today in History with Nia. Thank you, Destiny. Hello, Patriots. Today in History on May 9th, 1914, President Woodrow Wilson declared Mother's Day an official holiday. This holiday was made by Anna Jivis and Julia Howe. We honor Mother's Day to celebrate the sacrifices and the things that mothers do for us. It is celebrated on the second Sunday of May. This year it falls on May 14th, which is next Sunday. Many people do various activities to celebrate this holiday, such as going out or buying a gift. How do you celebrate Mother's Day? Let's see what's cooking with Hadassah. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is beef nacho and cheese, mild salsa, turkey ham sandwich, corn, lettuce and tomato, pineapple tidbits, and your toast of milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is bagel and cream cheese, graham crackers, fresh banana, assorted cereal, and your toast of milk. Students, keep in mind lunch can change at any time and to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to destiny. Thank you, Hadassah. Students, this course's instructional software challenge is ending on June 2nd, so make sure to check the flyer for the requirements and keep getting those lessons done. The state testing season is continuing today with 5th and 8th grade taking their FCAT science test. Good luck! Our cell phone policies are still in place. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure to spit it out before you enter the building. On May 23rd at 6 p.m., our Performing Arts Department will be presenting the Spring Music Concert. It is $5 cash at the door per person to get in, and all funds will be donated to the Music Department. You won't want to miss it. The Lip Sync Battle is also coming up and will be hosted by the Pines Cheerleaders next week, May 18th at 6.30 p.m. Pre-sales are available now on my school bus. Can't wait for these shows. Pre-sales for the yearbook are now on sale on myschoolbooks.com for $35 and are available now. Prices will go up to $45 after May 12, so make sure to steal this deal while you can. Students, the Patriot Store is open every morning and closes at 7.55. Tomorrow is the 5th and 6th graders' turn to shop. Let's keep racking up those points, Patriots. This week is Teacher Appreciation Week. Make sure to get your teacher a small card or gift if you can. Now, let's see what the weather looks like today with Melanie. Thank you, Destiny. For today's weather, you can expect a nice 84 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. It sounds like a nice day to go outside. In other weather news, have you ever been stung by a bee? Well, they tend to sting people more often during the spring, mainly due to the rise in temperature. In case you ever encounter bees, make sure to cover your face if possible. If not, don't panic. Make sure to get indoors as quick as possible, and if you can't, don't jump into the water unless you want the bees' crews to be waiting above the water. Once inside, assess yourself and remove any stingers. Now let's go to Ariel for the birthdays. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday girls and boys are Giovanna Yuskotegui, Jalea Watson, and Luis Angeli Rios. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to destiny. Thanks, Ariel. 
Patriots, here are your Pats expectations. It represents present yourself positively and kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Arnold, Ms. Sheriff, and Ms. Gregg. You all got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, what are worker bees, male or female? The correct answer was female. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What can you hear but not see or touch, even though you can control it? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.